Decades ago, taking care of baby teeth was not something most parents were told to worry about. But now doctors say that decay can stay in the mouth long after those baby teeth have fallen out. Liz Kotelik reports. I know, dude. I know. Despite the dramatics, Jameer is fine. It's partially erupted. At three years old, it's not his first time getting his teeth cleaned. In fact, his mom has been taking him here since he was one. Everybody that I can think of, every organization recommends an age one dental visit. Scott Hamilton is an instructor at the pediatric dental clinic and says many parents he sees just don't know about this rule of thumb. There's a lot of kids that come in on a third birthday and they have cavities on practically every tooth. Children's Hospital Colorado has about three. 3,000 of these types of cases a year. They happen because many kids see a dentist too late with parents not knowing when to start brushing teeth or how. My own sister, I had to show her how to brush my niece's teeth and she had no idea. On average, teeth come in around six months old and right when you start seeing them, angled towards the gums at like a 45 degree angle. Start brushing, even if your kid doesn't like it. They want to do this, so you have to actually find a way to hold the hands away from the mouth. The other big issue, kids going to bed with milk. And like pretty much everything except for water these days, that has a lot of sugar. Unfortunately, it's almost a science fair experiment with a kid's teeth. If they fall asleep with a bottle that has something sugary in it and they are able to drink that throughout the night, they have sugar on their teeth constantly. Yes, those baby teeth end up going to the tooth fairy, but she doesn't take the bacteria with her. Remnants of decay can stay in a kid's mouth and affect permanent teeth as well. So in order to avoid problems in the future. But if we can only ask two things, brush your kid's teeth and take away that bottle at night. Hey, Jameer, you did awesome. A dentist will show you how to brush your child's teeth correctly and answer any questions about thumb sucking and fluoride during their first visit. Many people who have knee replacement surgery are having it done at the wrong time. Researchers from Northwestern University followed more than 8,000 people for nearly a decade and found 90% of people who would benefit from knee replacement surgery waited too long to have it done. They also found nearly a quarter of them had the surgery even though they did not need it at the time.